Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we want to walk you through the dissection of the anterior and medial thigh. So let's orient ourselves first. This is the lateral side. It is the medial thigh, inguinal region, and knee area. We put the skin incision along the inguinal ligament, a vertical incision in the skin, all the way down to almost the width of one hand below to the patella. When you put this skin incision, especially in the um, thigh region, don't put very deep incision because it might cut the soft tissues underneath. We reflect the skin laterally and medially, medially, whereas we keep the deep fascia intact. So here is the deep fascia. We reflect the skin to the lateral side and then a skin to the medial side and then, of course, when you reflect that, you will see the deep fascia covers the whole region. And then that's the part of the fascia, fascia lata, which is the deep fascia of the thigh. If you recall, the deep fascia of the thigh is thicker on the lateral side and is known as iliotibial band or iliotibial tract. When you trace the iliotibial band superiorly, you will notice that it becomes two layers. We have opened a window in the layers, and you can see one of the muscles of the gluteal region, tensor fascia lata muscle here. So that is tensor fascia lata, which is in charge of the flexion and medial rotation of the hip joint, and is considered one of the gluteal muscles, but sitting in the lateral thigh. Also, on the medial side, you can find one of the superficial veins of the lower limb, the great saphenous vein, which, is run, which runs within the superficial fascia, becomes all the way up, and drains into the femoral vein. Okay? Now let's go with the muscles in the, in the region. So, anterior compartment, known as extensor compartment, includes these muscles. Sartorius, or Taylor muscle, which is the longest muscle in human body, from ACES all the way to the upper medial leg. Then lateral to the Sartorius, we have quadriceps muscle. But each head of the muscle is considered as a separate muscle. These muscles are vastus medialis, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, and vastus intermedius, right there. The tendon of these four muscles attached to the borders of the patella, then this tendon is called quadriceps tendon, and then after patella, the muscle inserts to the tibial tuberosity here via this ligament or tendon, patellar ligament or patellar tendon. Quadriceps muscle is in charge of extension of the knee joint. However, the rectus femoris can also flex the hip joint because it passes the hip joint from the anterior side. And if you recall, sartorius can flex and laterally rotates the hip joint and also flex and medially rotates the knee joint. Okay, it also can abduct or abduct the hip joint. Practically five functions for this muscle. Okay, now we go to the medial compartment. The medial compartment of the thigh, also known as adductor compartment, and as its name implies, this compartment is in charge of the adduction of the thigh. The muscles are arranged in different layers. On the superficial layer, we have adductor longus, this muscle, and pectineus. Underneath, we have adductor brevis, this muscle. And the landmark of adductor brevis is 
the, the anterior branch of the obturator nerve passes anterior to the adductor brevis, this nerve. Right under the, under the adductor brevis, right here, we have adductor magnus, this big muscle. And then the, the one of the adductor muscles on the medial side, gracilis. Okay? So as I mentioned, this group is mainly in charge of the adduction of the hip joint. Also good to know that inside the adductor magnus, we have an opening right here known as adductor hiatus, right there. So we will see the application of adductor hiatus later when we review the, artery, the arteries here. Now, two more things, and then we go with the nerve and blood supply. One is pes anserine tendon, and the other one is femoral triangle. If you recall, the tendon of three muscles on the upper medial leg form a tendon, all together form a tendon known as pes anserine tendon, was pe pes anserinus tendon. So these muscles are sartorius from anterior um, thigh, gracilis from medial thigh, and semi, let me actually expose this muscle for you, semi tendinosus, this one, from the posterior thigh, okay? Say, grace, before T, okay? So then pes anserine, that was a mnemonic actually for these guys. So then that's the pes anserine on the upper medial leg. Now let's move up and look at the femoral triangle. So let's zoom in on the femoral triangle and see the boundaries. Inguinal ligament, sartorius, adductor longus. On the floor of the triangle, we have pectineus, and then this muscle coming from the pelvis and the posterior abdomen, which is iliosuas muscle, is made by the suas major and iliacus, and iliosuas is in charge of the flexion of the hip joint. Okay, now, inside the femoral triangle, we have femoral van, which stands for vein, artery, and nerve. So, from lateral to medial, we have the femoral nerve, then femoral artery in the middle, and femoral vein on the medial side. And if you recall, the mnemonic for that is NAVI. NAVI, N stands for nerve, artery, vein, and I stands for internal or inside, okay? That's the arrangement of the femoral van elements in the femoral triangle. So let's do the nerve and blood supply of this area and then finish the tutorial. When it comes to the nerve, femoral nerve is the nerve of anterior thigh. It sends several branches to the muscles. We want to look at the longest cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve, known as saphenous nerve. Saphenous nerve goes all the way down under the deep fascia, then on the lower medial thigh, it becomes superficial and it runs within the superficial fascia on the medial leg, okay? The nerve on the medial compartment is obturator nerve, which is in charge of the nerve supply of um, majority muscles on the adductor compartment. When it comes to the artery, the artery on the medial side, which is really tiny branch right here, or the artery is obturator artery, and then the main artery here, which is in charge of the blood supply of both anterior and medial compartment, is femoral artery, right? So then when we trace the femoral artery, it goes all the way down, okay? Passes through the adductor hiatus, if you recall, adductor hiatus is the opening inside the adductor magnus. And as you see, both artery and vein, femoral artery and femoral vein, pass through the adductor hiatus. And then, and then when they pass, they go to the popliteal fossa. The artery becomes popliteal artery. When it comes to the branches of the femoral artery, we have this big one, deep femoral artery, this one, right there. And then from the deep femoral, the branches are lateral circumflex femoral artery, this one, medial circumflex femoral artery, 
and then perforating branches such as these ones which perforate the adductor, some of the adductor muscles and they will show up on the posterior thigh to supply the muscles on the posterior thigh. Thank you for watching our tutorial.